from The Minimal Mom along with my husband, Tom. And boy, was I surprised by my Christmas gift this year. So Donna has been discussing things she'd like to do to our kitchen for a while now. We did a light makeover two years ago. And now this year for Christmas, I decided to give her the rest of it. So I'm excited. So basically when we first moved in two and a half years ago, we updated the flooring. Tom put in, well, the island, which was yeah, a, which island, a big change. No that was a really good idea. And then um, high definition for Micah countertops, which made Classy. it, which looked really nice. <laughs> and um, tiled the backsplash, replaced the sink yeah. and the faucet. Oh, and added a dishwasher. Which oh yeah, added huge. a dishwasher and the microwave was on the counter. Mm -hmm. We got rid of that and put it above the oven. So it was a bunch of small changes yeah. that made a really big impact in how the kitchen functions. And I love it. It's It works perfectly. We have enough counter space and cabinet space and it's awesome. So the only change that I had left that I still wanted to make was all aesthetic, which was to replace our upper cabinets and take them all down and do a mixture of open shelving and some new white upper cabinets. And some of you had asked if we would paint our upper cabinets white, but... They're from Micah. It's particle it's board and then it is wood for mica on them. So, so you can't paint that. And no. they're they're very old cabinets that then somebody recovered. And so they have gotten their life, like the full life out yes. of them, I think. They have been well used and so we don't really feel bad ripping them out no. and replacing them. So Tom surprised me and I'm really excited with this. And so today he is gonna get started taking down all the cabinets. But we're hoping it's not gonna be too big of a project like on a scale of like painting to full remodel like i'm hoping it's so, down so here's how our projects go um dawn is always extremely optimistic mm -hmm. and she thinks oh this will just be no big deal oh that, Four hour that couple, yeah done <laughs> i feel she tells me i'm pessimistic i think that i'm more um a realist, realist yeah um, no projects are easy or big. So today is officially demo day, which you... I hate demo day. I hate, and I think it is part of it because it's also like discovery day. Oh yeah, it's, it's how big is this project gonna get? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. it's usually two to four times bigger yeah. <laughs> than what we anticipate. So Tom's gonna get busy um, taking down the cabinets. That's kind of our goal for today. Get everything, the, the old cabinets, pulled down the soffit, pulled down, and then we'll have a better idea what we're working with and make a plan from there. Okay, so how did taking down the soffits go? Uh, super easy. That was actually, that went as expected. That's kind of how you thought they'd come down? Yes. I had punched one spot that had a stud behind it, but the rest were easy. But so far, no trips to the ER, so we're doing well. <laughs> Small project turns into big projects, that's how they happen. So I tile up both sides of each cabinet and I was going to just pull pull the tile off so that we could retile the whole thing. Well, what happens is all the plaster came off with it. So now our fear is this whole wall is going to be tiled from the ceiling. And it's all plaster. Right? It's, it's all plaster, but so it's going to be tiled all the way to the ceiling. But my fear is that it's all going to fall off because we're going to be tiling on to plaster. That's kind of brittle. That's really brittle and really yeah. crappy. And, and you knew that when you did the microwave project and <laughs> we moaned yeah, at the microwave, yeah. it kind of was And we were concerned that there was not super great insulation behind this wall, so... That's the other thing, yeah. Tom was looking in the cracks and there's insulation, it's just... It's oh, I mean, great. this house was built in the 40s, so it's fair yeah, yeah. It's, that it's it's old. So what are you proposing, Tom? I'm removing everything off of this wall. I'm going to take it from this grout line up down to the studs. If Ugh. this will all stay, if not, then we're doing everything. We're going to re-insulate. New sheetrock. Sheetrock, tile, cabinets. 
Window. Window. What happened? I got hit in the forehead. Can you get me a napkin? Can I see? I think it's not too bad. Okay. Ow, I'm sorry. Okay, as you can see, uh, the project got a little bigger than what we originally anticipated, which is fine. <laughs> um, so basically what I found is that behind the plaster, the insulation is super thin. It's just old newspaper, right? That's all they did. So what I found out when I started taking all the cabinets down is all the plaster started crumbling, and I'm not going to tile onto crumbly plaster because then it's all going to fall. So I just decide tear it all down. Besides, Dawn wants a bigger window, so this makes the window bigger. And uh, by the way, would you check out how they how they framed in this window? You see? Nothing. Nothing. Just run your stud right to the window, I guess. So we're gonna change that and make that right. So what I'll do is I will put in a new window here, reframe it out the correct way, then I'm going to insulate everything, and then I'll put down sheetrock over the top, Hang our new cabinets, tile, open shelves. Got a little wound here. <laughs> Taking uh, some plaster down off of that corner. So we'll see you uh, next time and hopefully this will be much further. And there'll be no more head wounds. <laughs>